for you. I'm tired of talking about a TV and shit. So we're going to go ahead and move on to some more TV. I'm talking about anime. <laughs> Yo, I have not talked about anime on this podcast in a very long time, but we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, and we're going bad to bad. Yeah, listen, just a brief thing. I forgot to talk about this on the last podcast, but I started watching Hunter x Hunter or Hunter Hunter. I don't know how to call it. I don't know. Don't kill me, anime community. I know y'all get upset about everything, but washing your ass because your ass motherfucking stink. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I started watching Hunter Hunter. Um, people have been recommending me to watch it for years because if you know anything about me, you know two things when it comes to my anime taste. A, I love dubbed over subbed. It's dubbed Ganga Dai Do Do Do. And B, I love shonen anime. I don't watch anime to find the meaning of life. I don't watch anime to fucking find who I am. I don't watch that. I watch shonen. I watch friendship. I watch romance. And I watch people beat each other up. That's what I like to watch. And I will not apologize for it. Motherfuckers be acting like everything got to be deep. My life is deep. I be in deep shit. I be stressed out. The last thing I want to do is have to fucking turn my brain into overdrive while I watch some cartoons. And yeah, I said it cartoons. If that upsets you, I don't give a fuck. Anyways, Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. I like this show. I like it. As a shonen connoisseur. It's cool. I'm like 20 some episodes into the show. Um, by the way, this is just a first impression. This is not a review. Maybe we'll come back to it once I finish the show or I don't even know if it's done or not. I don't know. But this is just a first impression after watching like 20 some odd episodes of it. Um, the last thing that I saw was like Gone was fighting like this dude with like a Beyblade or some shit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. That nigga kept spinning, bro. He kept spinning the way Trump spins the truth, bro. This shit was crazy, bro. But um, fucking yeah. The last thing I seen is like they're like at some tournament. Him and him and Kilawa, I guess. Um, but let's see. Uh, first of all, I like the show. I do like it. It started off kind of slow, but I I think what kept me coming back is I enjoyed the characters and the kind of their relationship with one another. Um, everybody was very different in terms of personality uh which brought something uh to the to the table and then this shit had a tournament arc you know you if it's one thing you know they love tournament arcs bro you <sighs> let's add that to the third tier yo i love an anime with a tournament arc i ain't even gonna lie this shit had tournament arcs i like that shit right there motherfuckers was fighting um uh, yes i like the show let me see who's some of my favorite characters let's see hunter hunter characters uh gone first impressions of gone i mean he's just a kid fun loving whatever i don't understand why he wears booty shorts when he fights but whatever i mean he's a kid kids got weird style um kilo was a savage he really bought that life he really pulling up he really going on that ass boy um what's that dude with the blue fucking hold on let me go on this page uh i don't i forgot his name the one with the the, the where's the blue that that is upset that his family got killed by like the spider clan or some shit like that i don't know uh I, he's he's okay uh what's the name's name cracks me up though leorio <laughs> just because it sounds like audio it sounds like a delicious treat so i remember leorio um but like i i, I guess uh I, the most interesting thing i find about the show is the relationship between gone and kiloa because like fucking kiloa was raised to be a fucking assassin and a prodigy and all he wants to do is be Gon's best friend. Like, <laughs> like I don't understand. Like his maybe maybe it'll be revealed later in the show his motivations or something like that. But yeah, Kila was interesting to me. Uh, his fat ass brother too. The one was like torturing him in the fucking whatever when they was holding him captive. Oh, another character I really like. She's like a minor character, like a minor character, but whoever i think the creator of yu yu hakushu and yu yu hakushu is one of the goats fucking and this further proves why this dude is a goat i think he created hunter too the character what was her name um black chick from hunter i'm about to search black chick from hunter uh the black girl from hunter hunter with the fucking dreads uh i loved her uh canary canary first of all i loved her name her name's canary but also i love the fact that this is one of the few black characters that i've seen in an anime where it looked like a real it didn't look racist like because <laughs> you know most of the time with these fucking and you know the japanese people they just don't know any better so like you can't get fully upset but like they be these they be drawing these anime black characters with fucking coon ass lips and afros and just straight dark skin fucking canary was not only a dope character in terms of her personality because she wanted to be Kila was friend low key, but like she's got that brown skin, 
she's got like believable eyes like and then her hairstyle like she has like kind of like i guess it's like a dreaded like hairstyle it doesn't look it looks believable but it still looks anime at the same time it just feels like they put some actual thought into that character and i wish they would have gave her more screen time maybe they do i don't know when he comes back to the mansion or something like that but uh the the family was like nah canary you can't be friends with kilua because he's the ma- the future master or some shit like that and you gotta be his protector you gotta be his butler but i really low-key like canary even though she was a second secondary character um the fighting has been dope so far oh he's so good he's so good yo right off the rip what i really like about the show very shonen by the way and that's probably why i like it they right from <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I burped again. This is an awful podcast. Right from the rip, they established that Hisoka was that nigga. He was a little, you know, he was a little out there, but you know, you know, live your truth. I'm not here to judge. We love and let love. You know, we live and let live. I'm not, I'm not here to judge anybody's lifestyle, but whatever type of villain Hisoka was, like, he was that dude. Like, he was beating everybody's ass that I've seen so far, bro. And everybody fears him. And from what I'm told, like, people are saying he's one of, like, the best villains in fucking anime or whatever. I don't know, because I'm only, like, 20 some episodes into it. I did see him fight the dude that he had, like, a beef with from, like, the previous tournament. Uh... And the dude had been training like really hard and he still got his ass beat by Hisoka. He created like some, he basically created a bootleg uh, shadow clone Jutsu and Hisoka still beat his ass, bro. Hisoka's that dude. He's just a little bit weird. He's a little bit weird because he, he reminds me of, um, if you've seen, if you've seen The Flash, he reminds me of a season one's Flash villain, uh, what was his name? Uh, I can't remember off the fucking, Reverse Flash. I forgot what his name is, like his actual name, Reverse. I'm sorry, y'all gotta listen to me. I, it's gonna drive me crazy uh reverse flash what was his name oh edward thon yeah he reminds me of edward uh edward thon or professor zoom or whatever the fuck his name is um because in that show his motives were kind of the same as his soka's like he just wanted to see like edward wanted to see uh the flash get faster so that he could uh basically like still i don't want to spoil the thing same thing his soka wants to see go and get stronger i guess and he kind of follows him around it's kind of weird because he's a, like a little boy I don't, I don't know how i feel about that but in terms of him being a badass uh hopefully the show doesn't take a left turn and get weird i don't know i like the show i like the show i like the show i do i do i do you guys are right i should have watched it. i should have i'm sorry oh and another thing that i really like about this yo dub gang y'all got my back bro the dub on this shit is fire i'm tired of fucking people who watch subbed anime talking shit first of all let me get something to it let me get straight if you like sub anime that's cool i just hate people that talk down on people that like dub because nine times out of ten i feel like people who talk down on people who like dub don't even watch dub they they probably watched a dub from like 1999 which back then that shit was trash like you're 100 right but dubs nowadays have gotten so much better and the dub for hunter hunter is it's not bad i like i like the voice of gone kilo all the leodio all the characters so first impressions i am enjoying the show i've seen a couple of decent fights it just started off a little bit slow but i was told it was gonna start slow so i was mentally prepared for that um but not bad i'll finish it whenever i have time i don't really have a lot of time to watch anime so who knows when i'll finish it it'll probably be like two years later when i finally do like a full review after watching like all the three seasons or something like that um so we'll see shout out to everybody for the recommendation of hunter hunter if you guys got any other anime that recommendations feel free to uh, tweet me at mr underscore i keep it real and thanks for watching my video if you're new here hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you'll never miss another video also consider pledging my patreon it helps keep the lights on there's a link in the description box below peace